There's been a lot of talk lately about huge venomous spiders that fly with a parachute of web. Terrifying, right? We turn to a local expert for some answers. It's called the Yoro spider. And for anyone with even a twinge of arachnophobia, they'll make you cringe and recoil. They have four inch legs. Yes, that's four inches, which could make them as big as your palm. To make matters worse, they can fly with a technique called ballooning. They release silk threads into the air and are carried by the wind. You might say the only redeeming thing about them, they're black and gold. They're introduced or at least first discovered in 2014 in Georgia. Um, and since then have expanded so to several states, mostly the states that are surrounding Georgia. Chad South Gore is a local Carolina, entomologist Carolina. with Ehrlich Pest uh, Control. He says recent research is predicting where those Euro spiders are going to move. These things are more likely to spread northward than they are southward. Um, northern states and even into to southern Canada is more like their native range. Are they here yet? No. Look at the expansion rate since they were first discovered. I mean, that's 10 years ago and they've not made their, their way into Pennsylvania yet. Will they come? Perhaps eventually, but it would take a lot of time for the population to build up before you'd even see one. In the meantime, don't be fooled by a similar looking spider. One that, that's very common around Pittsburgh um, is the, uh, the black and yellow orb weaver um, or the yellow garden spider, same thing. They're also big as well. The Euro spider isn't harmful. It's said to be timid. But what about that ballooning? Gore says that only happens with the little ones. These adults that are, um, you know, have this four inch uh, wide uh, span to their, with their legs, those aren't the ones that are ballooning. So those are the ones they're staying put. So you don't, you don't have to worry about these four inch big spiders kind of uh, parachuting down out of the sky. Well, isn't that a relief? Christine Sorensen, KDKA TV News.